better. Uh, there was another master when she was born as a golden snail. <laughs> and she was sitting there with the disciples one day, together with the silver snails and copper snails, <laughs> metal, metal snails, aluminum <laughs> snails. There are various kinds of snails according to their inner development. Huh? They were talking uh, in the middle of lunch. She had them over for lunch. And suddenly, oh, there was an earthquake. Very, very, very strong. Nine point nine, you know? <laughs> so all the snails were running as fast as the snail could. <laughs> Yeah, and they're up and down, in and out, you know. And they just bump onto the table and bump into the glasses, door and everything. It's all very chaotic. And the house of the snails was shaking like this and all their horns were kind of <laughs> twisting together. <laughs> and it was very chaotic. And the earthquake lasts about three minutes in these circumstances. And so after the earthquake was finished, everybody went back to their seats and, you know, ah, thanks God, that is over. And the Supreme Master Snail was uh, sitting there with uh, her horn up. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have noses, mind you, the snail, they don't have noses, they just have horns. So she just stick her two horns up, very long horns, <laughs> long and fat horn, <laughs> stick in the sky. Quiet for a while, and until the disciple couldn't bear it no longer. <laughs> and asked the master, What is it? <laughs> because they know every time if the master stick her golden horns up like that, she's about to make a very grand statement or some big lecture or something like that, and how to become Buddha in one second, <laughs> a thing like that. So they were very. <laughs> <laughs> very, very, you know, nervous and <laughs> expecting. But the master just keeps sticking the horns up and don't say anything. So finally, the half golden and half silver attendant, you know, said, Please <laughs> be compassionate, O oh master, and tell us what is the great thing that you have in your mind now. Don't hesitate longer, for all sentient beings are thirsty for the tooth. Yes. So the master slowly descended her horn <laughs> to, <laughs> to an ordinary level <laughs> of consciousness so that all the disciples can understand <laughs> because even her horn is too high. <laughs> I don't think the ordinary sentient snails could ever catch up. So now she lowered her horn up to here <laughs> like this. And she said, did you see I was very calm during the earthquake? <laughs> so, so all the snails said, oh yes, Master, oh yes. And then the Master continued further. After a pause, so that people feel more appreciative, did you see that I didn't run here and there like all of you fool? <laughs> And then all the disciples, of course, of course, ma'am. And all their horns clapped together, you know, <laughs> in unison to praise the Master. And now the Master snail say, Did you see that I calmly sat here, sipping tea while you were running here and there like that? And the disciples say, Yes, we saw you calmly sitting here drinking, but there was a soya sauce that you drink. <laughs> Not the tea. <laughs> Sorry, wrong cup. <laughs> Our master was so calm. <laughs> Couldn't notice the difference. <laughs> you got it, huh? So this is called the master ego. There are disciples' ego and master's ego. 